7.30 at night, March 1st, along 18th and Barbara, and 12-year-old Thomas T.J. Sidario is riding his bike with a 17-year-old buddy. According to the grand jury, within moments, Sidario, likely to have fired on a vehicle not knowing there were police officers inside, is chased and murdered by ex-Philly cop Edsuel Mendoza. The boy's grandmother spoke late this afternoon. They're supposed to protect and serve. They're not supposed to be killing a child. Um, I'll never see my grandson graduate, have a baby, get married. Um, it'll never be the same. Mendoza, 26, is charged with murder in the first degree and is jailed without bond. District Attorney Larry Krasner says Mendoza knew the 12-year-old was unarmed. Hello, everyone. It's Sister Roland, and all I need is a few minutes to go over this tragic situation that happened in South Philadelphia on March 1st. And it's coming out now because now this officer, who goes by the name of Ed Mendoza, is being charged with first degree because he took the life of Thomas T.J. Sadario. And according to the news report, the officer was in the area, you know, investigating gun crimes. So he was already doing that and they were in unmarked cars. They, was, they weren't in a marked police car. And this 12-year-old, who who's Thomas, was with a 17-year-old. They didn't name the 17-year-old. Which a lot of people was pointing out, why is a 12-year-old with a 17-year-old? But if you if you stay in your house and you are not around, like, go riding around in different neighborhoods, you know, that's a very common thing. I've seen this a lot. Little kids with grown men. I've seen little kids with grown women little kids with older teenagers they hang out together maybe when we were growing up this was not something that we did we hung out with people are in our age group but nowadays i've seen younger kids hanging out with older teenagers that's what it is so and a lot of them are unsupervised and they get they eat together they they ride together they get in mischief together they get in trouble together this is not a this is not an uncommon thing if you didn't know but anyway so he was already in the area investigate doing investigation because of whatever because obviously it's been problems with you know with a lot of gun crimes and maybe and this is this is a clear sign of burnout too he's probably tired of, tired of the you know the crimes tired of the things that's going on and then this child happened to this child in who's doing adult activities just happened to fire on his car and and, and unfortunately this burnout the consequences was deadly because sometimes burnout you could it could cause harm it could be deadly it could be different things but his own is deadly and he deserves i don't know if it's first well that's up to interpretation but he was not emotionally intelligent enough you know let me calm down and then let me do what i need to do the young boy he knew the this young boy got um already got rid of the the weapon so there was no danger his life was no longer in danger but he still decided to you know fire shots on this young boy and this boy lost his life but there's so many people here to blame let's start off where is the mother because i see the grandma talking is a these kids are abandoned by their parents in the sense that it's a grandmother as a lot of grandmothers that are raising these children and like i said when grandmother was raising children and now when her children her, ch her children have kids that's a to total di different generation that's totally different so that grandmother is not used to this generation raising this generation because now the mother is suing but when it was time to talk there was no mother there was no mother there was no father this child is and he i, I don't believe this was his first time you know firing on um cars i think they have done this before and this is the thing, your habits will get you in trouble, will eventually get you in trouble, especially those bad habits will eventually get you in trouble. And unfortunately for this young boy, Thomas, 
he lost his life. And then the grandmother mother came and like, oh, she will never see him graduate. She will never see him have a a baby and then marriage. That's all. But the way that he was, his life was going, he was uh, um, f- uh, um, f- sh- putting out that fire on people's cars. Eventually, some if the if this police didn't get him, eventually somebody was gonna something was gonna happen to him because kids don't do stuff like that. And at the time, at the uh, 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 what time of night was this? Was it during the day? Why does this child even have a weapon? That's that's an why is this 12 year 12 year old 70 year old have a weapon in their hand of course because they are left to their own way nobody's raising these kids but of course everybody come out when something happens they let these kids go to their own way sometimes sometimes they can't control them some kids they let them go to their own way because they can't control them they don't know what to do with them because they're, uh, 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 uh. and then these kids you know they figure things out by themselves they figure things out by themselves and then when they in figuring things out by themselves some some of them survive some of them don't but it's when now then you find out they have a a, a father and mother when things when they get in trouble or when they have been taken out and now you're gonna sue now you want to sue you want to sue the thing i'm i say not to sue but First of all, you go. You got a lawyer. The lawyer is like he didn't even know the child's last name, because he he was like he's gonna say Sinero and then Sidero. He quickly said it, and then money like this when you lose a child in this thing, I'm mean, you're not gonna live la vida loca. You're not gonna live your best life. You was you this child was given to you as a gift. And you let this child go. You didn't find, you didn't reach out for help or whatever. Or whatever the circumstances may be. And this child was left his own way. Now he's no longer here. Now everybody, uh, um, now, you know, when they have you have a case now, all your family going to be surrounded. Because you see, each and everybody behind that, you're going to have to, uh, 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 when you get that check or whatever it is, the little bit of amount that you're going to get. Because... <clears throat> Most of the time, people don't even know how to choose uh, the right lawyer because the lawyer ends up getting the majority of the funds anyway. And then when those funds come in, people don't even know how to invest and how to grow that money. Within within six months, they, they're, they're, they're broke than they were before. These things just get on my nerves. It just reminds me of, um, you know, when that young boy that died in 1999, Yummy, Robert Yummy Sandifer. This is ridiculous. A 12 year old. Well, I, I'm not saying 12 year old and 17 year old because I've seen this before. It's not right, but that's what ha- this is what happens. They hang out together. But for them to have a weapon in their hand and then they using that weapon, just firing, that's wrong. Why was nobody uh, um, there to tell this boy it's certain stuff you're not supposed to do? And then this caused him his life. Now, now everybody want to cry and want to do fake crime because I don't even know you crying because you have a you have a um, sunglasses. Your eyes could be as dry as I don't know. But now everybody want to ha- cry and holler. Why didn't? Why was there not an intervention for this young man? Why? These are, these are things that I don't understand. And then, of course, this police does deserve, he does to go, does deserve to go to jail because he did not have emo- enough mo- emotional intelligence to calm himself down and not to react in anger. He reacted in anger. He reacted in frustration. And then he took this young man's life. I don't know if he's supposed to get first degree. I don't know if he's supposed to get second degree, but he does need to pay for what he did. Because you knew he got rid, you knew he didn't have a weapon on. That was your life was not in danger, but you still decided to take this young man's life. But then this is the thing: your sin will find you out. The wages of sin is death. And unfortunately, this young man had to lose his life. Why? Because people just don't care. People don't care about these kids. Because if we did care, we we would do what we have to do to raise these children. Because it doesn't make no sense for, uh, 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 oh, you can do whatever you want. Uh, they kid, these kids don't listen to stuff. But for a child to be doing uh, um, activities where they are in 
because like I said, even if the police didn't, somebody's gonna do it. Yes, kids go their own way. They are rebellious. They they do bad stuff. They do trouble. But there are certain things we know not to do. We know not to be uh, um, doing because that could cause causes our life. So obviously, people just don't care these days, and they don't care uh, uh, um, about these kids. About these kids. When are we gonna hold the parents accountable? When? When are we going to hold that? People say this the police was a hero. No. Because his life was not in danger. It was not in danger at all. <sighs> I don't know what to say. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.